done at strict times and of course it wasn't done by the mother and so all that obviously curtailed my possibility for movement and I would say it's left me with an impairment of left-right combination and coordination but eventually I was adopted but the problem was well my adoptive mother has had her a moon in the Gandanta zone at the end of Scorpio, at the end of Jayesta Nakshatra, where indeed it is said that such a woman should never marry and have children, according to ancient Vedic guru tradition. It's called the Jayesta Gandanta, a book to Mula. And um, I was adopted because she, she sort of wanted to get even with her younger sister who'd given birth to a boy. Um, but, you know, she didn't like men and so she destined me to be a future priest. I had to serve morning mass seven days a week from age seven. I was connected to an order of, called the White Fathers of Missionaries to Africa and spent my summer holidays at their HQ in North London in retreat each year. So these sorts of things obviously impaired my ability to express my Mars. So the next point is how to get out of this wound to my Mars. At this time of the Chiron Eclipse. Well the first thing I did was I drew a tarot card. As I said, you know, Neptune's in Pisces. It's like a very good time for vision work. And the card I drew was Dionysus, the god, amongst other things, of ecstatic dance, fruitfulness, festivity and much more. Quite an example to me, as I have those left-right coordination issues left over from the orphanage. But I really do value doing, or rather trying to do, transcendence dance sessions with Claire Louise Nifton locally. They are so healing of wounds and so expressive. And uh, my wife and I do African drumming in a wonderful local roundhouse by a remote lock in the west of Ireland here, run by Barra O'Flanner at Selina Croy. So, you know, check out his work. My challenge, as that card showed, is to value my dance and music even though I'm affected and impaired by the coordination issue. And then the second step I did was to draw a rune. And it was fascinating that I drew the rune Ottila. Ottila is guidance to you to value your home, your heritage, your comfort and prosperity. It's also the rune of ancestry. And I have reaped the greatest benefit from doing ancestral healing work and from having past life readings and from constructing an ancestral altar. And so I've achieved connection with my ancestors on my birth mother's side. Their blood is in my DNA and I'm talking about 3,500 years ago, Ireland's first farmers who migrated to Ireland in the Neolithic period. And their court tombs and monuments are all around us here. And I do run sacred West of Ireland tours to these local monuments and the cave of the Morrigan and things like that through my Druid Forest School tours page. So the rune showed me is that I can gain strength by valuing my heritage and my home. And then the third thing I did in preparation was to do a vision journey. I actually do a minimum one a week vision journey and I've been doing shamanic healing and drumming for 28 years. I teach it as a course 
on my Druid Forest School website. Do look at that page and see if you're interested. But I was filled with the messages of the tarot card and the rune and then the journey I did showed me the importance of being collect connected to land, sea and sky. It came to me that I should do my gardening at this time of year. I just started doing it and I love it. Uh, loads of weeds to get rid of. And that I should work to heal. To heal that I am not in my true voice. That my true energy is sort of blocked or diverted. And so I am very pleased with the start to the healing I'm making. And I'm sort of monitoring my behaviour so that if I feel I'm, you know, expressing Chiron woundedness, I can bring in the benefits from the tarot card, the wound and the shamanic healing journey and express my true energy instead. So I invite you to contact me for a reading where I can focus on your Chiron wound and offer you relevant healings. You can book this now at the time of the eclipse with Chiron caught up, conjunct sun and moon, or you can book your Chiron reading with me anytime in the long distance future. And healing methods we use will of course vary from person to person, depending on what I see in your charts. You can, all you have to do is choose a reading, choose the duration, 60 minutes, 90 minutes or two hours, book it and then email me saying you've booked it and it's a Chiron reading you want. You must send me that covering email or I won't know. As I said, or you can just book one of my many other readings that are listed on the Star Wheel Astrology by page. And in your Chiron existential wound reading, I will examine the Western and the Vedic astrology centering on your Chiron existential wound. What are the wound energies dogging you? What is the deep nature of the wound? How does it express itself in your life? How are some of your other planets caught up in it? So let's be upbeat at the energies of this eclipse unfold and not get dragged into the sensationalism and the politics that are scree screamed out about astrology events these days. Yes, let's recognise those energies are there and they can have a bad effect on us. But let us rise victorious as we do our healing. So, to get a reading from me, go to starwheelastrology.com and in the, uh, the, the display beneath the YouTube video, this, for this YouTube, you can see the links to the blog post I did about April Astrology Energies and the three-part video I did about April Astrology Energies. Now I run a wonderful dating site for those on a spiritual pathway and for that you can go to Love Star Dating. Um, do also see the healings offered worldwide by my wife Maggie Pashley. They're wonderful healings, she's been doing them for years. Do subscribe to my Star Wheel Astrology blog and my YouTube channel and do join our Facebook page. And if you want to see the Western and Vedic astrology charts for April and for this new moon eclipse and the full moon, go to the April monthly page, which is below the more drop down on my website. So I do hope this has been helpful and inspiring and will be of true value for you in April and then going forward and in your life. Thank you.